there's a couple of elements that I've spotted that are the things we talked about, like getting back on the horse, actually making it easy for yourself to do them, like your list, and then you know preparing the stuff. Like you've got the stuff in, it's there, it's measured. That's a lot of the atomic habit stuff around. You know, like when I went running, I'd lay my ha lay my clothes out to go running, right? All those sorts of things. It is making it easy, and for you, like you say, is you can look back and say, this is what I've achieved, and that gives you motivation to achieve. But what I do really like about this is that you, even though when you get things that come in and knock you off track, you say, well, I accept that I didn't do these things for those three days, but actually, it's not, I'm not going to stop doing it. Actually, 18 of those days, I was actually succeeding what I was doing. So it's actually a really good way of, you know, James Clear says about you're voting for the person you want to become, this person who gets things done, this person who, you know, is now out, it's stuff out of their head is on a list. You're now... I get this stuff done. Look, I've done this stuff. And it's like building that identity to say you get things done. Even if you get knocked off, track, track, or knocked off track, you've still got a plan for you to get back on track. And it's not the end of the world, right? That's what I loved about this. But I absolutely love it because I think I can see a lot of adjusted, whether it's important, what's not important, adjusting in, in, a, in an important way. And actually, there was a, another thing you mentioned where I did three things this day and I had five days, but I'm just moving on to the next day or the next month. And you're not knocked off the list. It's just I've moved it. So then I'm going to get to it, but it's just not going to be right now. It's going to be, whereas we would probably, we didn't write it down. It'd probably be exactly like I would do. I'd just forget about it and they go, oh no. And then I get stressed because I see it like you said, you always oh, see that. So I really like this. I think I might have to start. Well, are you recording this on the computer? Are you doing it on a spreadsheet? Yes, I've got a little, just, and it's very simple, just in an Excel list and I have a tab for January. And all I did was just write them down with a little summary of what I want to do. And a second tab with the backlog, which is just a list. And I'll just create a new tab for each month, which... so. Offline, can I I'm happy something? to share with you, of course. Yeah, Jose. can you share it with me? Indeed. Would there be a template we could share of this? I said, yes, I'm sure there could be. We can put that like up. Like a template? 100% I can make that, not a problem. Just an example template. I think this would be really useful for people. I mean, I want to try it because it might work for me. And I want to be able to write down the things because actually it's good. Because what I do with editing the podcast, I tend to just go, oh, this is important, but I ended like like now I'll go tonight. But I haven't written it down anywhere. I've not like, put it in a, oh, this is for January. I've just said every day, this is what I'm doing, right? I'm editing on a Tuesday. After this, I'll be you know, editing. But it's not like a, like you said, like you were putting it into the month and going, oh, there's actually a physical record of this is what I've done, what I've fallen off. I think I really like this. And actually, I could practice. This could work for me. I'm not saying it will work, but I want to try it to see if it does work. And if it does work, what I do like also is that you've built in planning time. And this is what I've learned yeah. with this leadership. You plan, what is it, the beginning of the month and the end of the month? Yeah. Is there a planning date? Yeah, I love that. That's it. And again, I've, I've taken various courses I've done this this year talk about this in and again back to this IT kind of way of working it's it, project plan and everything calls under a thing called scrum if people want to look it up and look into it which lots of people know but that is what you do is you work in a, a cycle and it can be two weeks or four weeks right Wh whatever it is but everything happens in that window including planning and playback and debriefing and everything so you it's it's a way to make sure you make time for everything because that time to plan for, for me and I know for lots of people and things I've read online and seen like that that's where it, it falls down because it's I've just got to get on I've just got to get on but you you discipline yourself to make time for that and and it's actually quite good you know having a day where you haven't just got to hit all the actions and all I've got to do today is look at my plan and get that structured and that's me good well done I've done a good day and I've built that yeah. in so first day of the month last day of the month and little bits like there's a, a couple of mornings that I will get the shopping done at like seven o'clock in the morning and I've built them into the plan and like I said a day for making sure the podcast staff happens so probably 25% of my plan is already preset but they're in and I don't try and overload it by squeezing other things in and then both don't happen and but I've still got 75% of my month where I can slot in all these other activities and it just again there'll be loads of different ways for different people to work this in different ways but we can put together a bit of a template and some guidance notes well, share this to people see I, if it helps the reason is I've done that plan bit because when I was, do, I was doing the, the leadership sort of stuff that I was doing is that you there was there, there was something called a um a framework and you it'd be exactly what you said there'd be a, there'd be like you'd have 15 you know, every leader had to put 15 minutes in one to plan their day and then there'd be a plan for the month and so that planning time really does make a big difference and this is what i do at the beginning of each day i do have a little plan that i have for the day but i like the fact this is a lot bit more long term that it's actually monthly rather than just weekly it's actually yeah. quite long term i like that <laughs>